create one data folder then you have to create one images folder and then you can also create did you know that the data professional who showcase their skills with the interactive portfolio have higher chances of getting their dream job coding didi your go to channel for coding tips tricks and your career advices yes did you know that the data professional who showcase their skills with the interactive portfolio have higher chances of getting their dream jobs yes that's true that is why i have created this video for you because in this video i'm going to tell you a way how you can create one professional portfolio for yourself yes this video is taking you to a guide which is going to tell you how you have to create one using python library which is streamlit library a tool which is known for its simplicity ability to create web apps ability to create web apps with the minimal efforts yes this is everything is going to be based on python script based because the data professional creates machine learning models data professional creates dashboard data professional creates prediction models and anything it could be related to data so having a good portfolio within the programming language is very very important this also showcase your interest and your creativity within the programming language as well so this video is all about that so without wasting time that let's get started also make sure to watch this video till in the end because i'm going to also share some tips that how you have to select the projects for your portfolio yes selecting a project for your portfolio is another thing that you have to consider because every project is not for your portfolio maybe the project that you have created was just for the trial or maybe the project that you have created is very beginner friendly project so you cannot add those kind of projects in your portfolio so stay tuned till the end because i'm going to share the ways how you have to select so let's get started now let's first understand why to build a data because it is a well organized data portfolio well organized data portfolio is going to help you stand out in the terms of interviewers where thousands of applicants have applied for that role it is also going to showcase your expertise your creativity your problem solving ability it is also going to provide tangible proof of your skills that you have beyond a simple resume because in resume we have to add everything related to maybe the basic information that it's sometimes like people used to add a gender as well which is in the resume but in portfolio we are not going to talk about all of these things we are just going to stay stick to ourselves our expertise our creativity and so on now let's talk about the library that we are going to use we are going to use an open source python library which is very very famous for building web applications with the minimal efforts as i said in the beginning with minimal efforts means you just have to organize the stuff in the well manner and also you can use chat gpt for this purpose if you wanted to add more features in this in the end of this video i am also going to share some prompt for you if you wanted to enhance this portfolio which we will discuss in this video you can enhance it with that prompt prompt as well so let's talk about how you have to set up the environment to set up an environment you have to first install your library so we have been talking about streamlit library so obviously we need to install that so the simple command which is used to install streamlit library is pip install streamlit this will install the streamlit library you can open your visual studio code or pycharm or any other ide which you have been using for python and you can install this simply over that then let's talk about folder what you have to do is you have to create one folder that let's suppose the project uh, folder name is the project folder and then you have to create two more folders under that first is going to be your data folder second is going to be the images folder data folder because data professionals create model data professionals create prediction models or maybe recommendation system or data professionals also create data so they have to work with the data directly or indirectly they have to work with data so data folder is essential because within this portfolio we will have a subheader in which they, we will mention the project names and employer can directly move to those sections and can view your projects directly in your portfolio section because this is going to be web app based second is going to be the images folder in images folder you can add a logo you can add your profile picture or any images or anything like social media icon also you can add in the images folder third thing is going to be your file two folders and one file one file is going to be your main file 
so in which you are going to write your streamlit code so in that main file what you have to do is you can name it app.py main.py but make sure the extension is .py you cannot use ipynb in this case you have to use .py only so this structure is going to make your code your data sets your images well organized and your your project is going to be scalable and easy to maintain now let's talk about your portfolio that how your portfolio should look like you have to structure your portfolio in well good manner so divide your portfolio in three subsections first is going to be your about me second is going to be showcasing your project third is going to be contact information apart from these three section you need not to add anything in your portfolio to make it bulging no just talk about these three things now one by one let's talk what you have to add in. about me is going to be all about your skills your professional background and your interest second your showcasing project is going to be a interactive session where you have to add four to five projects those four to five projects should be the top pro then the contact information you have to provide a easy way for the employers to connect with you it can be via email linkedin or your phone number as well okay so i have already written this code so my folder name is updated port which is updated portfolio so now in this you have to create one data folder then you have to create one images folder and then you can also create projects folder and this is this is the main file which we have just discussed which is app.py app.py is the main file now let's see the app.py and then we will move on to the further section so basically our portfolio should look something like there should be one navigation bar on our left hand side and in the right hand side there should be a complete area where the data has to be displayed now let's see what are the codes that you have to write you have to import the streamlit library from the streamlit library i'm giving it a title you can give it anything if you wanted to name it let's say menu so you can just replace the navigation with the menu simple then what do i want is i wanted to provide some options so i want three options like under go to there should be three options about me projects and contact as we have discussed there should be three different sections so this is the streamlit library short form name sidebar and select box so this is how the options will come up to us now user will or employer will select one which is about me then i'm saying streamlit title should be about me and then you can write down whatever you wanted to write about yourself so you can say that my name is akansha yadav hi i am akansha yadav a data enthusiast passionate about solving real world problem through analytics or machine learning then the second option is project let's say the project so in portfolio there should be four to five projects that you need to add so what i have done is under the project folder you have to create five different files project one project two project three project four and project five now these five files are going to be used as a module so i am going to use these files as a module and i'm going to call all these files in the app.py whenever they are going to select so i am creating for the select box which is going to be select a project which you wanted to view customer i'm just mentioning some names you can replace it with your project name so customer segmentation sentiment analysis sales for casting covid19 analysis resume keywords so these are the five projects now i have added in this now what i'm saying is if project is equal to customer segmentation then i'm calling that project and i'm calling calling that run function so if i will show you one of the file which is project 1 this consists of word cloud library matplotlib whichever library you wanted to use in your project you have to add it over there and then i have written everything within the def and i am saying that it should display the header the sentiment analysis of tweets and then i am writing analyze twitter data to classify sentiments on the basis of these and this is the text that i am providing and then the word cloud will be generated to show you can display the final result or final analysis of your project to make it to the point to make it short and to make it simple okay now over here i have written from this import run why we are importing run because in this file i have created a function called run which is why i am calling it over here so i am making it consistent throughout my all projects so in project 2 project 3 project 4 and project 5 you have to do the same thing first you have to import all the libraries required then you have to use uh, the run function to make it consistent so that whenever next time you wanted to make changes in any of these files you can make it now let's say you are creating something based on on data so obviously you need to add some data in your project so go to the data folder in this data folder you have to create certain files so let's say i'm saying data1.csv so you can add you can also copy paste the data over here or you can just uh, within the same folder also you can cut and paste the data directly in the streamlit folder which you have created and then you can create data 2.csv and so on you can keep on adding the data sets over here now these are the five uh, projects that i wanted to add after five projects i am calling my run function 
function again. First, I'm importing my run function. Then I'm calling my run function to run. Then comes the last one, which is the contact form. You can also separately create one contact.py file. If not, then you can directly write it like it is. A, this is the contact form. And from contact form, I'm calling the text input, text area and submit button. And then I, if submitted, it will display. Thank you for reaching out the name of that person. Whatever the name will be added over here. And then I will get back to you shortly. Now I will show you how it will work in this. Another thing to note over here is suppose you wanted to add a profile picture or something within this. So you can write it over here directly. ST is the name and then you can add whatever you wanted to add. You can see you can add audios, you can add area chart, you can use any kind of chart over here. Even the cache data also you can add it over here. Anything related to uh, the uh, display thing you can. So say, say I wanted to add an image. So ST dot image and then open the bracket and then enter the part of that particular image. Simple. And if you want any caption to be there, then you can continue writing the caption as well. So caption is equal to, let's say, hello. So if you have any image, you can write it like this and you can continue. So image will also be added in your portfolio. Now see how to run it. To run it, you have to simply go to this terminal, go to the terminal, then open a new terminal. Once you will open the new terminal, you have to write down streamlit run app.py. Streamlit run app.py will open in your Chrome or your Microsoft Edge. It totally depends upon your system setting, which one is your by default server. So let me just show you that. So over here, you can see this is your about me page where I haven't added much, but I have just added a single line. So that is why we are getting the single line only. Then there is a drop down project context. So let's say I'm saying projects. So these are the projects already added for now. And if you wanted to make any changes in any of these projects, you can simply go and change it. And here comes an annotate button as well. If you wanted to annotate anywhere, you can annotate to showcase in the interview as well. So that's how simple you can create the Streamlit portfolio. Found this tutorial helpful or anyhow it is important to you, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video and have any questions or suggestions for the further videos or this video, don't forget to comment down.